So far, you've made an assessment of the variability of two data sets by comparing one with the other, and you've compared the sketches of the frequency distributions. The Excel sheet contains the full data sets from which those sketches have been abstracted. So you've got the 500 height measurements of students that came into the Williamson building in 1999 and 2000. The first thing you can do is to actually draw the real frequency distributions. In order to do that, you can use an Excel function, which you may not have used before. The function is called frequency, and it's an array function, which is unusual uh, in that it's entered into several cells at once, rather than uh, entered into a single cell, which is maybe what you're more used to. Um, the frequency function takes data from a large data set and sorts it into classes. Classes are called bins, it's an American style I think. Um, so here's your data set which you can see is 500 measurements long and the classes that you're going to sort the data into are these. So they're 5 centimetre increments in height going from 150 to 200. All the data will fall into these classes. So in order to use the Excel function to do the sorting you need to highlight where the data is going to be, where the formula is going to be entered first of all, and then click in the formula bar, rather than just clicking on a cell and entering it. So highlight where the formula is going to be entered, and then click in the formula bar. The, fun the function is called frequency. Um, you open a bracket, start off with a, an equal sign. You open a bracket. There's two parts to the argument that goes into the bracket. The first part is the data itself, which you can either name or you can highlight it, whichever is easiest for you. Then a comma, and the next thing clearly that's needed is the classes into which the data is going to be sorted, and you can highlight those. Close the brackets, and then to enter an array function, you press Control, Shift, and Enter all at the same time. So the data is entered and the graph's drawn for you. Uh, you can do the same for the 2000 data. So again, highlight where it's, the formula is going to be entered. Click in the formula bar. Equals. And the data array, which is going to be K4, K503. And then the bins. Close the bracket and then control shift enter. And then you can see the data set drawn up. Um, 